After the latest accident on Boeing 737 MAX 9 aircraft that, of course, led uh, multiple flight cancellations and an investigation now into Boeing, the company's CEO, David Calhoun, uh, joining CNBC yesterday now to provide an update on the company's efforts to prevent this from happening again. Here's what he said. And the leadership team did exactly what it needed to do. It grounded the airplanes. The FAA immediately grounded the airplanes. And the Boeing team supported every step of that process. And, uh, and now we're in a moment where we have nobody at risk. And our job is to understand literally everything that has happened, everything that surrounds that particular fuselage plug, and, uh, and fix it and make sure it can never happen again. Joining us right now to talk more about this uh, crisis management expert, Eric Desenhall, uh, Desenhall Resources the leadership chairman team did exact <laughs> and co-founder is joining us. Uh, we had wanted little, to emphasize we that. Wanted to, yeah, there was a little more that he wanted to say, and we, but we didn't want to cut him off. Uh, Eric, it's nice to see you. Uh, you've been dealing uh, for many years, and we've come to you for counsel and advice on how to deal with crises of this sort on the communications end, uh, not on, in this case, the underlying, the underlying case. Uh, but they often, uh, they often, there's a confluence here, they come together. Uh, what, what do you think David Calhoun should, can be doing at this point? I think he did as well as you can be expected. I mean, I think that far too much emphasis these days is placed on the uh, the CEO interview. I mean, the CEO interview, it's just a price of entry to the whole crisis. It's, it's not the solution. And as you said, I think correctly, we always look at what is the provenance of a crisis. What is, when you do triage, the cause? This is an engineering problem. You solve the engineering problem, the problem goes away. And I think what Calhoun said, which was correct, is they cauterized the immediate problem by grounding the planes. I mean, by nature, when you, by definition, if the planes are on the ground, they're not going to have a mid-air incident. So that is the first, the, that is the first thing that has to be done. I think that what we don't know now, and I am not an engineering expert, is what the fix is. Um, the minute there is a fix, and it is understandable to the airlines and explainable to the public, Eric, the problem will recede. I think the question is, what if it's the tenth engineering problem? that you're cauterizing well, under your tenure as CEO. And prior to that, you were on the board of the, of the company when the last guy was, was also presiding over a slew of engineering issues. When does the board say, all right, um, we've, seen, we've seen what we're going to get here? Well, as I've said on, on prior interviews about similar subjects, I reject this whole notion that you just throw a virgin in the volcano and the problem goes away. I think that there is far too much emphasis on this death watch. There's a, there's, there's a problem. You, fought, you bring in the CEO to do an interview. The experts declare the CEO's interview to have been botched. People say, when are you going to fire him? The board is watching the interview, says we better fire him because people are going to continue but to Ask the you, question. You, I you think said that the interview that is the was answer. fine. No, the, the interview is fine. The, but what the, about the, the interview, What about uh, one after another of the what gets you in the trouble where you have to do the interview in the first place? Could well, no one? Well, this could is no a, one have done anything differently? Could no one have run Boeing better over well, the past five years? We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't we don't know. And there have been a couple of CEOs. And so I think that what you have here is a strategic issue of what are you going to do with this problem child plane? I mean, to me, that is the broader strategic issue right. that there keeps okay, being Eric, problems think, with this plane, but, with this Eric, plane. Speak, speak to this, because and I think it's where Joe's going. And, I, and, and you can make the argument on both sides, I imagine. But it appears, at least from the outside, that there might be a, a larger cultural problem at this company. And that that unto itself, from a, just a communications uh, or, or an image or a um, reputational standpoint, is a, a real demonstrable conundrum. But in that context, yes, but it does, somebody but it calls doesn't... you, Eric, and says, look, we got a real problem at this company because there are people who just don't trust us. They don't trust us. Interestingly, by the way, I don't know if you saw this yesterday, Eric, and I wonder how it's going to play out. Kayak, which is, you know, one of these services where, you, you know, consumers can go buy, buy, air, buy airplane tickets. You can now not only sort by time of, of when the plane is leaving and, you know, whether it's direct or not or this or that, and price, of course, you can now actually see and choose which 
planes you're on is actually now going to show you not only whether it's a Boeing plane, but exactly which plane it's on. And you can exclude uh, those planes it, if you want. I mean, the world could get very, very interesting very, very and quickly. And it's not like there's not another company yes. that you can look to to see whether... there's only one other company. Yeah, well, this a is, this French is the airline problem. The maker problem is, is eating our lunch. A French well, airline maker the problem is, is making is these planes that have not nearly as many problems. So figure that out. But the problem here is what the, what you're referring to is what we call deselection, that you are there is going to be an effort to get rid of a particular plane. But what I come back to is, and I'm looking at this clinically, is triage. Okay, you have a patient wheeled into the hospital. You have to and you have to first figure out what's wrong. Then, if the patient has heart disease, you have to figure out after the surgery what you put them on and what their regimen is. The first and, thing, ground the planes. And, and, and that has been thing, done. And I, the one thing I will say is, look, I think there are far too many problems. I think there is a crisis of confidence absolutely at Boeing. I'm there a little is. afraid about who gets put in that position and how they're going to figure it out. Because every place I've ever worked, when a new person comes in, it takes them six months to figure out just a walking tour to see Becky, how things are going on. I, there I, is I, I not don't want to sacrifice a land general. in a situation where I'm going to be flying on plans, planes. No, that, well, that, that, that's right. But look, there is not a general in history that would have kept their jobs by the standards we're putting them on today because everything is right. now about the death watch. And right. I just don't think, you I mean, you're asking a crisis I, manager you, what I think the answer I'm, is, I'm with and you. I don't think that's the way to go it. But I do think what you have after you have the tactical problem is a strategic problem. You have a problem yeah. with these planes that is not going to be answered in the next 24 hours. So there has to be a strategic plan of do you replace the aircraft? I mean, this is not yeah. like if, if, you, exactly. if you don't like and Lucky Charms, you go and get Cheerios. These are the questions that were being asked four Cheerios. years ago. These are the questions that were being asked four years ago with the problems that we saw at the time with the MCAS system. I don't think we dug deeply enough into those problems. I do think that's serious. No, and, I, and I think it is a chronic problem for the board.